Our next guest is that. Peter Quest, men's golf, won the individual West Coast Conference Championship on Saturday. Peter, welcome to Studio B, man. Thank you. Thanks for having me. How was your weekend, Peter? Uh, weekend was good. I uh, actually flew back to Fresno after the round, after the tournament, and well, uh, got to visit with family a little bit. So uh, it was a good weekend. And, nice. you're, and you're back here partying with us on a Tuesday. Heck what yeah. what was the best part <laughs> about winning the or being the medalist or the individual champion of the West Coast Conference Championships as a freshman? Uh, I think the best part of it was uh, just spending the time with my teammates. That was that was really special. You don't get to do that often. Like over summer, you don't you don't have your teammates there most of the time. So it was really special to be there. Peter, uh, well, you know what? Pete, I'm gonna call you Champ. Is that cool? Go for Champ. it, Champ. <laughs> Champ. Uh, what was going through your mind in the second half of your round on Saturday? Um, you know, I was just thinking about um, well, a week before my grandma died, so I was just oh, sorry, I, I was just thinking about her the entire time, and I wasn't really thinking about what to do. I was just, you know, trying to th get through the round, and um, you know, I just got going hot, and uh, luckily some putts fell in. I believe uh, you wrote you wrote Oma. On your uh, glove? Yes. As a, how did that help you through the uh, um, tournament? That just kept me real calm throughout the, the whole tournament. It, uh, it, it really pushed me to, um, to stay the course and um, just grind out no matter what happened. And um, I feel like that, that really, really pushed me. It can be an interesting thing in, a, in golf where it's pretty individual sport yet you compete as a team mm -hmm. so what was it like to not only one you had know you had won the team title but also hey I got to compete as an individual and win this for myself too um I think the main part was the team I uh, I wasn't really looking at like where I was individually as a as a, um on the leaderboard um but I just went each day you know how can we win as a team and uh thankfully we we won so when did you know that you won as a team, I knew after the round yeah. that we so, won. And then you went to a playoff. Yes, but I, I had no idea like what I had to do on the last hole or anything to get into the playoff really? or perhaps win. Nobody so. was, nobody's telling you? No, I didn't, I didn't really want to know oh. either. <laughs> <laughs> Would that have been more nerve-wracking had you known that? Probably that a little bit, yeah. yeah. Like, i got to make this part, <laughs> I've got to put this on or whatever, yeah. So you go to a playoff. What's, what's the mentality in the tee box at that point? go super aggressive, try and try and win that hole, or, okay, I'm going to play it safe and hope that the other guy doesn't play it as safe as me? Well, I mean, I've played that hole so many times. I play it the exact same way. I just hit driver over everything, and um, I felt like that was that was a better play than trying to play it safe um, just because I knew, I knew what I could do. And um, I felt like if I played it safe, then it would have opened another door for him, hmm. and I didn't want that to happen. And I and I'm told that you hit a 350 yard drive on that. Yeah. 350, <laughs> Peter. Yeah. <laughs> How, what what is is this part of your game? You drive 300 plus. What'd you have for breakfast that morning? Yeah. Yeah. What'd you have for breakfast that morning? Had some Wheaties. <laughs> <laughs> no one today has Wheaties. That's not true. Yeah, that's so fun. Now what when you hit it? Did you know? Oh, I I crushed it. Yeah. Yeah. You just you don't really feel it when you hit it when you hit it really good. So you don't. And it just kept going. So nice. I bet that was an amazing feeling. Yeah. At that moment. <laughs> so so you know you being the champ and all, how do you then you know celebrate that with your teammates? Because yeah, you guys won as a team, but you still have kind of that individual um, you know performance and effort. So how hard is it to you know maybe tuck the tuck tuck your trophy you know <laughs> and not really boast? No, I think uh, I mean I'm not really one to boast. Um, I kind of like let other people talk me up and stuff. Um, but I feel like my teammates, they just embraced it with me, and they were, they were very supportive of me and very proud of me and what I did. This was a really nice win for this program, second win in the last six years uh, in the WCC. Uh, Patrick Fishburne's legit. Rhett Rasmussen, we've had him in studio. He was fantastic at the Goodwin. So what was it like for you to emerge and help this team as well, uh, among others? I know you have some other talented players on this team as well. Um, it just felt great. I mean, it felt like I can compete with a couple of the best players in the country, Rhett and, and Fish, and uh, it just knows my I know my game's right there with them, and um, just know the, to contribute the way I did really really helped me out. So I, I gotta say this, just kind of like a pause. I, I I like I'm digging your hair, man. That kind of reminds me of Riley Nelson a little bit. 
uh, you know, with hanging out the out the helmet. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it, it, well, if this was Riley, <laughs> someone would come up to uh, Peter after the win and say, "You need to cut it. You need to, you need to cut it. You, <laughs> you just won. You're good." Yeah. <laughs> right. So I'm the champ. I could do. I could do anything. What's What's the plans with the locks, though, man? Are you keep it going. Oh, cut well, it. Uh, I, I want to keep it going, but we'll have to talk to my coach about that one. <laughs> he, he's trying to hide it beneath that hat, man. Be quiet, dude. Yeah, it's good. Come on, gotta, bro. He has like a little curl. He can flip it up and hide it if he wants to. <laughs> coach, I just, I just trimmed this, coach. See, I read a story uh, from Darnell Dixon in the Daily Herald about your recruiting visit here, and you went to a BYU football game, mm-hmm. and were impressed. What, what, what was the uh, situation that impressed you there? That maybe helped you. Maybe want to come to BYU. Um, I just liked all the hype going into the stadium, being able to to stand on the field. That was really sweet, and just seeing the stadium packed, and uh, just knowing that you have a bunch of support from everyone in the community, yeah. and uh, and that was a big part of my decision. It's hard not to take in the excitement, right, mm-hmm. of a BYU football game on a Saturday. So. Yeah. So thank you, BYU football team, for bringing it. And the yeah, fans, so Peter Quest football. could come from Fresno and play for BYU. Well, congratulations on the, uh, on the medal, and good luck at NCAA Regionals coming up here soon. Thank you.